So first of all, you have to understand what is peak. Peak is a subset of vertices. Of an undirected graph such that every two distinct Every two distinct vertices in the click are adjacent. That means they will be connected. So that is. So example maybe this that is a click of a graph. G is an induced induced subgraph of G that is complete. So complete graph in the last class itself, I told you what is complete graph. So you can consider this as a click. Let us name it A, B, B, B. This whole thing is capital G and induced subgraph may be this one, triangle ABC or maybe triangle a b c d e f g let's say this is h or maybe d e f these are all induced subgraph that is complete complete graph definition already you know in from last class complete graph mean if you pick any two vertex vertices from that graph they will be connected. That is complete. So these subgraphs are induced subgraphs which are complete. This is also a click. In fact, this triangle A, H, C is also a click. D, E, F is also a click. D, G, E, F. E, F, G, in fact, is also a click. So these are click. But this complete thing is total graph G. And this, let's say this, this graph is G dash. This one is, let's say, G double dash, this is G triple dash. These are all complete subgraph, which is a part of this bigger graph. This is a click. Just, you must have already, okay, fine. Next. The problem statement says that click is NP complete. Our problem statement is prove that, right? Proof of click is NP complete. Or you can write proof that click is NP complete. Okay, same. So to show click is NP. The first thing is that NP complete problem means what? It should be in said NP. It should be NP hard. 
these two conditions have to be satisfied. So for the first condition, click is in NP, what do you show? First one is to prove that click is NP complete, click is in NP set. For that, what we'll do? NP set for a given. Don't sing, who is singing? Devot Diwali is will be in happy mood. I don't understand language. Is it is it not in Hindi language? Given for a given graph G still singing. Okay, no problem. Sing a little bit lower tone, okay? We use the set V dash belongs to V of vertices. In the trick as a certificate or G we can check in polynomial time we can check means verifiable verification in polynomial time by checking whether for each pair Q comma V belong to V dash the edge UV belongs to E. This is the this is for NP part, just the verification. Just checking whether the the clique exists or not. Second part is the hard part for the Second part, we have to so that click is NP hard also. This is for NP proof, just verification is possible. Second part is the hardness, which you have to show. Hard. For that, what we will do? We have to take one problem which is already in set NP. In fact, we can take one NP complete problem, which you already have discussed. We will take that three CNF set. We'll take this problem and we'll reduce this problem in polynomial time. To click then you can say that click is NP complete. Okay, one thing I haven't told you the meaning of like let's say this is problem pi one, polynomial is for problem pi two. Meaning of this is that if you can reduce this thing in polynomial time, that means problem pi already you have verified in polynomial time. And if you are able to do this, this is nothing but less than equal to okay, pi 1 less than equal to pi 2. That means this problem, if you can reduce in polynomial time to this problem, other way of say, saying is that problem pi 1, I can tell you that like, this is for just for your information, problem pi 1 is because you are reducing this problem is not more harder to solve than problem pi 2. This is also another way of looking at the problem because we're reducing in polynomial time to problem pi 2 this is a less than equal to symbol. That means problem pi 1 is at most it can be as hard as problem pi 2. 
not more than problem pi 2 or it is less harder than problem this is also another way of saying this okay in polynomial okay fine that means it is a bit like a if and only if kind of a statement that also you remember this part. if and only if that means when you are able to do this this reduction this fellow is in np set in a way you can say that pi 2 also can be reduced to problem pi 1 now we are going to the next part which is what so what we will do we will take a formula so basically what we are trying to do we are trying to see cnf sat cnf sat we are reducing polynomial to click that is our intention this is the reduction happening a reduction in polydyne so this fellow cnf sat it is a satisfiability kind of a stuff satisfiability formula or circuit satisfiability this circuit sat means what circuit satisfiability the circuit can be converted to a formula so that means there should be a corresponding formula for this phi formula we are assuming that let's say we are going to find a click of size t i'll show you the things so we are trying to find the minimum thing which is click of size 3 so we are trying to find whether click exist there is exist a click in the graph of size 3 in that case the size of the click is k which is equal to 3 this is what we are going to prove so we will say that if you are able to formulate this boolean formula in which term in case of cnf 3 cnf conjunctive normal form conjunctive normal form is this is the conjunctive normal form this is how you represent conjunctive normal form if you are trying to find the click of size k so this should this should go up to ck here we are trying to find the size up to 3 so only 3 clauses will take so what we will do we will just remove this just we will take this 3 because we are trying to find p click of size 3 click of size 3 so 3 clause p1 c2 c3 now we from this boolean formula if you can create a click or build a click create i mean you can say create a click of size 3 then we will say click, click exist how it will happen so basically in theoretical language we are trying to say this that this is why equal to this so we shall construct not create we shall construct we shall construct shall construct a graph we shall construct a graph g we shall construct a graph g such that such that phi is satisfiable if and only if g has a click of size 3 so if you say that click of size k instead of calling it this thing you can we shall we shall construct a graph g such that phi is satisfiable if and only if g has a size of k so that means this boolean formula to click conversion should be there you should be able to formulate a graph through this boolean formula through the assignments of the literals inside this clause each class can have at, at most exactly how many literals friends three literals literals one literals two literals three three literals with this exact three literals here also three literals here also three literals if you are able to formulate a graph g which has exactly a click of size not exactly which has a size of three click click of size three if you can prove that and also if click of size three exists there should be a boolean formula of phi which is having a clauses of c1 c2 c3 and with the proper truth assignments of it if and only both way 
that means this formula to graph is a must this formula boolean formula f you can call it the phi actually from that you should have a graph here this formulation is must this conversion happens this reduction you can call it in polynomial time because sat three sat is a np problem and if you are able to find the click also then the reduction will be also in polynomial time you can say that okay click exists of size three it will be a hard problem also this is the game so for that mathematically some expression we have to do we have to write some expression that we can try here so basically what will happen so for each class so normally the phi equal to c1 c2 up to ck generic case okay k number of clauses you can write it here k number of clauses which is of in the nature of and of and of ors that means cnf conjunctive normal form c1 and c2 it's a boolean formula pcna with clear k clauses now specifically we are looking at r you can call 1 2 k no problem each class each class each plus CR. This is let's say this is CR. Okay, CR, CR one something like that. CR two like the CR has exactly three literals. Exactly three literals, which are what what L one R, L two R. L3 R. So when this is CK, this formula is slightly changed. CR clause we are calling it CR. This CR because here we are talking about that each clause is having something like this. C1 R. Let's say C1. This is the C11, L2, L11, L21, and L23, and L L12, second class, L22, L23. L, yeah, L three, L three, L three three, and L one three, class number three, L two three, and L three three. This is also three. Exactly like this. As I already told you that we have, we have to construct a graph G such that phi is satisfiable if and only G has a click also. Again, again we write. From this, we have to construct a. We have already written for each class. For each class, C R, which is of C one R, C two R. Sorry, L one R, L two R, L three R. In phi, we place. We place. Triple, P R I P L E. Triple, important triple. The triple of vertices. Triple of vertices, which is of V one R, V two R, and V three R. In to V, we are placing these three vertices. Next important thing is, we put we put an edge we put an edge between two vertices. That means we will connect only those two vertices from different class. We will put an edge between two vertices carefully. B I R and B J S. B I R is one class. B R is one class. B J is another. B S is another class. So B I and B J will be connected when so put an edge. The connectivity will only will be there if both the following condition happens. So if both the following conditions 
I'll show you how things are happening, happens. Uh, two. First condition is VI. Just write it down. I'll tell you what how it is happening. VI and VJ S. These are two different class. R different class. This is one vertex from the first class. This is another vertex from the another class. VIR and VJS are different. Different triples. That is, R is not equal to S. This is first thing. So how it is happening? I'll show you. So let's say this is V I. That V e I R. This is V I R. These three classes we have. Huh? With three classes we have made, right? C one, C two, C three. So basically our boolean formula is c1 and c2 and c3 who will do everything all theoretical computer scientists they will formulate this kind of thing phi this from this phi you should be able to form a graph and whatever truth assignment you will be assigning in these literals based on that you should get a click from here i3 if that is possible that means here from this formulation a click should be there in the click should be there in the graph g this is what the we are looking at. Formula is this. From this formula, graph should be there. With this graph, click also should be there. And here also some literals assignments to some value will assign here. Okay, now I'll show you how. This is V I R. First literal this is X1. And this is V J S. Let's say this one, V J S. J S. What it says, first thing are different triples that means this triple is different this triple this triple is different then there is a chance that will connect them there is a chance that we will consider for connection first condition but it is not the end second condition is also there what is the second condition in last class i told you but again i will just repeat it second condition is that they are corresponding Their corresponding literals, the corresponding literals are consistent that is L I R is not the negation. of l j s meaning is what we are going to connect it these two you can connect no problem let's say you are going to connect these two we are going to connect because this is one triplet triples this is another triples this is c2 this is c1 no problem based on the first condition i should be willing to connect them but here, the second condition says that their corresponding literals are considered in LIR is not the negation of LJS. Meaning is, here if you take X1, this triple from the other class should not be not X1. Their connectivity is not possible. Remaining all connection you should try to make the graph. So this X1 will be connected to this, X1 will be connected to this, and X1 should be connected to and also can be connected to X2. X1 can also connect to X1 itself, no issue. Similarly, for this also, once you are have not X2, you should not connect it to this connection should not be there. Because X2 and not X2, they are negation. Similarly, X3 and not X3 should not be, they are not connected. This only condition you have to follow. If you follow this, then your job is done. Okay. Now if you do so. Then we'll directly go here. Also, I think the same uh, this thing, same class. You should not try to connect them. X one should not be connected to not X two, and X not X two should not be connected to not X three. Okay. So here now, just that I have to find the assignments. Whether assignments are supporting or not, then we can say that click is formulated. So what it says? 
the graph G derived from 3 C and F set formula phi where C1 equal to this, this is C1, this is C2, this is C3, three clauses. Satisfying assignment of the formula x2 equal to 0, x3 equal to 1, and x1 equal to either 0 or 1. Okay, now let's say whether we can this satisfied. Okay, so here you have taken this, this, this two assignments you are trying to find whether the clique exists or not. So if x2 x1 equal to 0, so this is 0, and uh, x1 equal to 0 is 0, not x2 will be equal to 1, 0 or 1, or not x3 will be equal to 0. So this is done. So next, same assignments, this fellow will become not x1 will become 1, now x2 will become x2 is 0 and x3 will 1, this is also 1 and here it is x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0 right and x3 equal to 0, now 1, yeah. x3 equal to 1, so this is also there, so whether click is available or not. So which click is activating? So here you can see that in this class, this not x1 has become 1, not x2, not x2 has become 1, logic 1, and here x3 has become logic 1 or not x1 also has become logic 1. And then here x3 has become logic 1. This is logic 1, this is logic 1, this is also logic 1. It is formulating a click or not. Click. Just try to find another click. Tell me which one. Here it should be 1, no? A, a not x1 I have taken on, so this will be 1 only. X1 equal to 1. This also will be 1. Correct, no students? Huh? X2 equal to, uh, X2 equal to 0. Uh, X2, sorry, this is okay. X2 equal to 0, this is okay. This is also 0, this is fine. These two are fine, but this will be 1. This is 1. This is 0. This is also 0. Now here, um, so this is how things will formulate. So we must show that this transformation phi into g is a reduction. How about the g is satisfying assignment? Satisfying assignment we got. Then each class here contains at least one literals. These also these are the conditions. Okay, very strict condition. Then each class here contains at least one literals is assigned to one. This is also another condition you have to consider. At, at least one literal is assigned to one. Here, at least one literal is assigned to one. Here also at least one literal is assigned to one. Here also at least one literal is assigned to one. And each such literal correspond to vertex VIR. Picking one of such true literals from each class yields a set V dash of K vertices. We claim that V dash is a clique. V dash, this is my V dash. We claim that V dash is a click v dash is a click for any two vertices these two v dash where s not equal to s r not equal to s both the corresponding integrals this l r i l i r and l j s map to one by the given satisfying assignments and thus literals cannot be complement thus the corresponding g the H, V, I, N, V, I, R, and V, J, S belongs to E. Conversely, suppose that G has a size. Now, this is the forward direction. If and only also you have to show. So, with the basic, this thing, V dash has a click. With the assignments of not X2 equal to 1 or X2 equal to 0 and X1 equal to 0 or X1 equal to 1 and X3 equal to 1, you are able to formulate a click 
of v dash which is existing in this graph now the vice versa also you have to show which is converse suppose that g has a click of what is v dash of size clay that means let's say this click exist in the graph then there will be a corresponding boolean formula of this assignments also that's all this is click problem okay so this is how you should prove that click is np complete